Hey everyone. Like that. Hey y'all, what's up? I hope that you're having a good day. Um, it has been a minute. I have not filmed in a few weeks. I have not posted in a few weeks. I'll kind of be talking about that throughout this video. Um, so I'm very awkward and uh, yeah, this is kind of weird for me. So I kind of have a look in mind. Um, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Coconut. It is beautiful. Um, and I think I might grab in to the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault, um, the Dark Magic palette, which is this one right here. Super beautiful. And you know what? Just saw that. I'm going to have to grab one more shade because the whole reason why I want to do this look I'm going to have to grab a different shade, but I will worry about that later. So, I'm going to stop rambling. We're going to get into it. I already have my base on and my brows done, so we wouldn't have to worry with all of that. I will have everything that I used and put on my face in the description box down below, so be sure to check that out if you are interested in what I have on my face currently and whatever I use in today's video. Um, also, don't mind my hair. We hate each other right now, so um, let's not talk about her because I, I don't know her anymore. You know what I mean? What I want to do first is go in straight with Coconut from ColourPop, and I'm going to put this all over my lid. Uh, I think I'm going to use my finger first. So, as I said earlier, and I'm sure you've noticed, um, I haven't been on YouTube, like, in probably, what, three weeks or so? Two or three weeks? I think three weeks. Um, but that is because I don't really know. I... <sighs> okay. Let's just get real. Let me get a tissue. Not because I'm going to cry, because I'm not going to do that. Um, so I posted a video, I think it was in my last video, um, about how my dog, he was more than a dog to me, he was my son, um, he passed away. And since then, I have been very just disconnected. Like, I... I didn't feel like doing anything. I haven't been depressed or anything. I mean, I, I have, but not how I used to be. Um, but, I mean, I've been upset. He was, he was my dude. He was my little guy. And just one day, you know, it, I needed to film that day so I could post the video, like, the next day or two. And I just, I didn't want to. I didn't want to do it. I, I wasn't feeling it. I had no idea what I wanted to film. Nothing sounded appealing to me. Just the whole thought of it. Just, I was completely disinterested. Um, I just wasn't, I wasn't into it, you know what I mean? I mean, sometimes you get into funks, and I was definitely in a funk. Um, and that's how I've been. I haven't... I've been kind of like in a creative like block, but I've just been, you know, in a funk. Sometimes people get in funks. I've just, creatively, I don't know, you know, what I want to do. I've been thinking about, you know, just other things going on in my life that has nothing to do with YouTube and, you know, what I want to do and this is coming off so rambly and it doesn't make any sense at all but just know I've been in a funk and I look absolutely insane right now it gets better I hope but I'm hoping that that will turn around and I hope that this will kind of trigger in me that you know like I can do this again like I'm back like let's, let's, just, let's just do it you know what I mean but I think I just needed to take a break. Sorry, I'm grabbing through all of my brushes right now. 
I think I just needed to take a break and decompress because I mean I I just didn't want to do anything you know what I mean it's I'm repeating myself at this point so I'm gonna stop um, also I'm going to grab this teeny tiny little pencil brush and dip into that same color and just kind of start blending out the edge here So I'm going to dip into the Dark Magic palette and I'm going to go in with this blue shade right here and it is called Busted and I'm going to take that on that same tiny little brush and really just start to slowly slightly blend this out. I hate this my left hand because I never like I don't know I just find myself doing really weird things with it like I was just sitting here and my hands just like clawed up like this <laughs> what am I doing <laughs> so how you been what's everyone talking about it's a hot new gossip I don't know okay I'm gonna take a slightly fluffier brush and there's nothing on this whatsoever I'm just going to use this to help me blend out my edges here I'm just going to be going back and forth, picking up a little bit more of coconut, popping that on my lid, blending out until I get it blown out to how I want. Because you sometimes lose that color whenever you're blending. I think I'm going to grab a little bit of this shade right here. It's called Shh. And I'm going to use that, just a tiny bit of it to help kind of blend out these edges too. I just don't know what I want to do with this outer corner. I don't know if I want to wing it out, round it out, roadhouse, I don't know. And I'm also going to grab a little bit of Mojo. It is a very deep, kind of cool tone, rich brown shade. And I'm going to place a little bit of that in the outer corner here, just so I can wing it out slightly. But I don't want it to get too, too deep out here, because I want most of this just to be the blue color. So now I'm going to work on this eye. So we can match them up and we will continue after that. So I am back. Um, I got my eyeshadow blended how I like, I suppose. <laughs> um, I got it blended enough to where I'm happy with it for right now. I might go back a little bit later and do a little bit more once I have my lashes on and everything. But I went ahead and um, lined my tight line and my water line with the L'Oreal L'Oreal Blackest Black Infallible Gel Liner. Um, I love that one for my waterline. It stays on. It is jet black and it's perfect. Um, what else did I do? I also, let me find it. I can't find it. Um, I also put on a little bit of mascara. It was the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. So, I need to stop wiggling around in my chair. Um, I'm going to go in with my lower lash line. Now for my lower lash line, I want to do something super bronze and just really, really pretty. So I have this single eyeshadow from Natasha Denona. It is the 24K Bronze Age Shadow. Show you a little swatch. Oh, it's so nice. So that is it right there. So I'm going to pack this all over my lower lash line and really blend it out. I want it super bronzy, super glowy. And if it doesn't, you know, translate how I'm wanting it to, I'm thinking about grabbing this shade right here from the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. It's so beautiful and it feels, oh my gosh, it's so nice. It's just a little bit more orangey than the, than the Natasha Donut. Then it is a little bit more orangey than the Natasha Denona shade. So 
This one is Natasha Denona. This one is ColourPop. So, I'll see how I'm feeling once I have it on my eyes, but I am going to go in with Natasha Denona first. I'm going to deepen up my lash line just a tiny bit. And I'm just going to go in with the Mojo shade from the, what is it, Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic Palette. I'm just going to go in with that Mojo shade just to get a little bit of depth on my lash line right here. Oh, there we go. Okay, and I'm going to grab a little bit of that other shade right here from the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. I just want to add just like a tiny bit of it and see how much it changes. And now to mascara my bottom lashes. Putting on lower lash mascara is like one of the most favorite things in my makeup routine. I don't know why, I just really love it. Like, I don't know. I think because my lower lashes, like, they're pretty long, but they're also really thick. And like, I just really like them, you know? Um, okay, so. Now, the absolute best part is the lashes. And my absolute current favorite lash on the market right now, like, you cannot pry these lashes away from me. I wear them all the time. Um, in fact, I need to restock on them because these are my last pair that I've been reusing. But these are the Eyelore Lux Silk Marquee Silk Effect Lashes. They look like this right here. They're so beautiful and fluffy and I just, I, I love them. Absolutely love them. I've been wearing them nonstop. Like, more than my Kiss Lashes. I haven't even worn my Kiss Lashes since I've been wearing those. And if you do want to get these, um, I would buy them on Ulta whenever they're on sale. Um, you can get the three-pack for, like, 11 or $12. And um, usually one pair of them is, like, $9. So get the three-pack. Spend that $11 because it is the best money you will spend in eyelashes ever. Just to let you know. Look at that. Just, just look at that lash. It's oh, so fluffy, so beautiful. Lashes make all the difference in the world. No joke. So the eyes are done. Um, I, you know, popped on my lashes like I said. I put a little bit of liner um, right over my lash line just to kind of conceal it a little bit. I did not wing it out, but a wing would look absolutely beautiful with this. But um, I kind of suck at wings and I haven't done them in a really long time. So that's why I didn't do a wing. But we're here and we're going to finish up the rest of my face and we're going to be done. So for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Milani bronzer and this is in the shade Sunlight. So I'm going to load up my bronzer brush. And now uh, one little uh, kind of trick thing that I've been doing with my bronzer lately is, uh, you know, after I apply it to like my cheeks and my temples, I've been taking it and just lightly stamping it right here across like the bridge of my nose and like my inner cheeks right here. I just think that it gives it just like a really like cute, like natural kind of look and I'll kind of like stamp it all over. But that's once there's like hardly any product on my brush at all. So, bronzer is on. I'm uh, going in with another Milani product. It is the Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. A very classic YouTube shade. And for my highlight today, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Ambrizi Highlight. And I'm going to pick that up. So beautiful. 
I'm not really sure why I'm not super obsessed with my highlight today. Um, I mean, I usually love that one, but I don't know why. It's just, it's not... It's not doing things to me. So I'm going to grab in my Bronze Squad palette the shade Cookie right here. Let's see. Yeah. I think that's better. Now, I don't know. I'm not crazy with how my face looks. I think I should have done my eyes first and then did my foundation off camera. Just because it's, I don't know, it's very heavy and just not how I want it to look. Especially, like, right here around my nose. But, uh, yeah, to fix that, I'm not going to take off my whole foundation or anything. I'm going to use the Catrice Prime and Fine Illuminating Setting Spray. So I'm thinking for my lips. I don't know how it's going to look. Um, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Seductress. I'm going to go over with that first, see how I like it. I think I'm going to hit it with a little bit of L'Oreal Infallible in Cowboy, just to warm it up a little bit more. Oh, girl. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> I just put a little bit on. It's the Urban Decay Heavy Metal in the shade Midnight Cowboy. I'm just gonna put like a teeny tiny bit of this like right here on my inner tear duct. Let's go. And we're done. Um, yeah, so I pretty much love how my face looks right now. Um, I would say like on a scale of one to ten of what I envisioned in my head, this would probably be like like a solid nine, like an eight and a half or a nine about what I was thinking. Um, yeah, I just really love the contrast. You know, usually people would put like a pop of color like on the lower lash line, but I really love having like that really blue, like, oh, coconut is so beautiful. It's a beautiful shade. Um, yeah, I like it. So something fun that I haven't done in a while. You know, it's fun to just, like, play with makeup again. Because I really I haven't been playing a lot with makeup. I've just either been going super dark on my eyes or just, like, really bare. And, you know, nothing except for, like, my big ass lashes and a nude lip. Um, so it was nice to just get on here and play with makeup. And swatched up my hand pretty good trying to figure out what lipstick I was going to wear. Um... But yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed it, and I'm hoping that this is going to, like, ignite that fire in me again, and just, you know, want me to get back on here and do more creative things, or, you know, do anything in general. But yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you want to see some more from me, make sure that you give me a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, that way you do know whenever I post a new video. Hopefully, I'll be back on track every single Tuesday at 6 p.m., and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Let's go. Let's go. and I'm breezy high I setting spray and I'm gonna use the Catrice Catrice